One of the interesting testimonies to the ability of Amy Semple McPherson came from the actor Anthony Quinn. Some of you will remember Anthony Quinn, very distinguished actor at one point in American movies. And late in his life, he was interviewed about his early experiences, and he was asked, who, was, who were some of the really great influences on you in your youth? And without a moment's hesitation, he said, Amy Semple McPherson. And the interviewer was sort of thunderstruck. He said, when I was 16 years old, I was being raised by my Mexican grandmother in Los Angeles, and my grandmother became quite ill, and we sent to the temple if someone could come and pray for my grandmother. And Amy Semple McPherson came, prayed for my grandmother, my grandmother got better, not immediately, but got better. And then Amy turned to me and said, um, what are you interested in, young man? And Anthony Quinn said, well, I play the trombone. And she said, well, we have a band at the temple. You come and play in the temple band. And he said, I went and played in the temple band. And then she asked me to come along and be a translator for her when, I, when she went out to preach in Hispanic uh, communities. And... Uh, the interviewer said, well, that must have been a really funny experience when you look back on it now. He said, I never met anyone so kind as Amy Semple McPherson. And I never met anyone who could control an audience the way Amy Semple McPherson could. He said, I worked with Greta Garbo, and I worked with Katherine Hepburn, and they didn't hold a candle to Amy. Um, Charlie Chaplin used to come into the temple and sit in the back just to watch her work. He was so impressed. Uh, she was a phenomenon. She was the most famous woman in America in the 1920s. Uh, there was a story about Amy in the LA Times at least once a week through the whole decade of the 1920s. Uh, she was a phenomenon. She was, she was remarkable. Uh, she anticipated in the craziness of Pentecostal worship, what now is widely known as evangelical worship. Uh, she was a pioneer. She was an influence. She's someone to be taken uh, seriously and, and thoughtfully uh, by all of us because of the impact she would have later, but also because she's a window on what was going on in the developing Pentecostalism of the 1920s.